Guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you the new werewolf fruit. So, as you can see, it's really cool. It has that smoke coming out of its nose, and it has those red eyes, just like the leopard fruit. It has very sharp teeth and pretty pointy ears. Oh, yeah. And it's called the werewolf fruit, as I just said. And here's some reference images I just used for making the werewolf. And yeah, it's for blocks fruits. And as you can see, that's the werewolf fruit smoke red eyes everything and it's called the werewolf and the rarity this thing is very important so remember this the mythical rarity the best rarity in the game so that means people would offer for it and they would put like high value and this isn't like a normal mythical it's like dough so like dough it's worth around like a mammoth but people uh do over People do like two does for one leopard, so doe is really high value. And as you can see, type beast fruit. So that means you can transform like Kitsune, dragon, leopard, really good. And that buffs you. And the cost, it's pretty similar to Venom, but the Robux price, oh, that's the bad thing. That's gonna make your Robux down. But I guess it's worth it because it's not that much and those around the same. And the awakening, like most of the it does not. And as you can see, the moveset, this is one of the important factors. So the M1, like all beast fruits, they have a scratch. And at their third, they have a scream or a roar or a very OP ability. So this one has smokes at the third one and uh, Z move. This is one of the best moves. So uh, this one's spammable, like most of the Z, moves. and it's one mastery only. So Night Towel just scream. Basically better than the M1 third move. It's just a better M1 third uh, click. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's just a howl. And Claw Slash. This is one of the good ones. Uh, slash slash but it's actually bigger so it's like it's kind of like sanguine's art except it's a slash so it'll leech out the arm and then it'll slash and bloody bite uh 100 mastery pretty good so it'll just bite your enemy and by piercing and moonlight this is one of the good moves so it'll buff you and it'll also uh uh, basically a move which will stun them and and it'll shine light and the red moon this is actually the transformation ability which doesn't make sense because the f move usually it'd be the v move but it's actually the f move and it's called red moon so as you can see the eyes are red so it kind of correlates and you'll just turn into a giant rare and for the transformed move that the night towel it'll just be a bigger night towel and uh m1s yeah they'll basically be the same but they add piercing and claw slash uh smoke uh will come out and like sanguine art except it's slash and it'll come from both sides like and bloody bite yeah it's basically the same except uh it lies piercing for longer time Moonlight, this one changes a lot. It's kind of like the Buddha Awakened V move. So you'll just uh, go in the air and pick up the moon. Uh, stuff, you know, how the Buddha does when it's fully awakened. And red move, red moon, it'll untransform you. But ready, transformed. And now, these are the passive abilities. These are really cool. So, as you can see, Blood Moon, this is uh, basically the frame here. So, the user starts with 0% Blood Moon bar upon spawning. That's bad. But you can build up your Blood Moon. And the transform state, it's really good. So, it's worth to grind Furry Meter or Blood Moon, whatever you want to call it. And you'll get like a 40% jump boost and two times damage, 100% damage bump. Really, really good. And the full Blood Moon bar transformation because basically the fur that's Blood Moon. And it's basically like a furry meter. You'll damage to enemies or players. Both works. 
And this is one of the good and bad abilities, so crazed. After transformation, attacks apply piercing to hit opponents. That's one of the good things. Piercing, yeah. Tick damage increases with the amount of damage uh, the opponent's user. So if it's a magma user, you'll as much magma, so you're always up to the uh, player level. Even if they have better skill than you, because they're doing more damage, you're doing more damage. Unless you don't hit a shot, then you do no damage. And transform states uh, triggers the uh, passive ability, so you basically put mastery that and control over the player is lost during the transformation so like within the first minute basically you'll lose the transformation so if you're in a pvp battle this is very good and very bad because two times damage but you're losing control over players like uh over your own player so if you click like right you'll go left so it's really confused and pvp you need to be good at it so you're going to need the backwards so it's basically like if you're bad you're good if you're good you're also good so it's kind of weird so this is pretty good for new players too and transformation automatically ends when the player if you lose full control you'll just be going everywhere and we don't want that to happen so the transformation will automatically end thanks for watching my content like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and follow me on my social medias for sneak peeks and future videos